Uh, what I would like to underline is um, especially based on my experience in, uh, in Ukraine. Um, so the cooperation in between civil society and legislators can be a very good process. Uh, so in Ukraine, I discovered, uh, so after the revolution of dignity, really the beauty yeah, of this democratic process with engaged citizens uh, and opened, open-minded legislators. And uh, I cross my fingers here uh, that we will be able uh, to keep this process and to learn in other countries also something uh, out of this process. Because what I understand uh, more and more is that the system change yeah, in uh, the partnership is also about the role and the attitude of the citizens towards their state and that they want to own their state uh, and they, they are ready to take again and again a responsibility. So uh, something what is not only important to know for uh, our partner countries in the East is also uh, very important as experience uh, for the European member states uh, because we already learned some of the lessons and sometimes also we have to redo uh, those lessons we thought we had already learned. Um, finally, so the EU and citizens uh, and their expectations towards the EU, this was uh, one of uh, the it was the only uh, question uh, so by somebody who, who participates from a uh, side of uh, civil society. Um, I see the situation a bit like follows. So uh, in uh, the uh, countries in the east of uh, our continent, uh, there are high expectations connected uh, to the way towards European Union. Uh, the expectations uh, mainly mean uh, that uh, citizens uh, want a better development for their uh, countries, better democratic uh, development, uh, stabilized freedom and security, but they also want a better social and econo economic development, and they want social justice. And uh, so the issues we discuss today, uh, fight against corruption uh, or a functioning uh, judiciary, are fundamental issues uh, for delivery, for, for being able to deliver on those expectations. And so therefore, I think it's clear that the EU uh, is kind of a counterpart also in this process, but cannot replace the process. So the, the process must be in the hand of the societies in our partnership and association agreement uh, countries. Uh, but um, so we must be also serious uh, on our side uh, in so certain fulfillment of the big expectations, high expectations from the citizens towards Brussels.